What's going on there, everybody, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. I'm super excited to get going with this game. It's been on my radar for a long time here, and I've talked about it before in some of my other videos, and it's finally out, and we're playing it. So let's start ourselves a new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Well, that was quite the intro. I like that. God, this game is so fun. I'm super excited. It kind of reminds me of, uh, well, let's be honest. It is like Theme Hospital. Uh, Steam developers. Uh, for the most part, um, and a lot of the same people that worked at, at Bullfrog during that time and created that, uh, gave us this beautiful game here. So this is gonna be super sad. What do we got? What do you, um, we missed the intro there. Just remember it said, welcome to whatever. Welcome to Hugsport. So begin your career as a hospital administrator or learn the basics of the job and establishing your first hospital. Let's do it. Oh. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. Uh, first things first, uh, you know, the uh, good old piece of controls moving the camera around. It's kind of crazy seeing that up there do its thing, but whatever. First thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Uh, reception desk. There it is. I like how they do this. Hmm. So, cool thing to tell you guys, because uh, it's not actually in the uh, oh tips down below. If you hold the control button down and rotate, you get the finer control movement here. Um, so, that's the left control, and then rotate, and you can get these finer movements uh, versus if you just kind of drag stuff around or rotate normally. So that's something if you guys are interested in knowing, there's a little tidbit help. We got a receptionist. We'll need an assistant to run the reception. You got it. Uh, I like how everything just like right here, right there. Ooh, Alex of a factory. What you got for me? Customer service enhancement. Look at that. 7,000. Francis Duckworth. Yeah, not so good. 4,000. Julia Villian. Customer service, customer service two, and customer service three. Wow. Uh, 11,000. I think we'll just go with uh, Alex Factory. He's a class clown, he's grumpy, and he's opinionated about France. Alright. Julia uh, thinks their life is a rom com. Has potential and can find scarves. Using hospital facilities will henceforth be considered organ donors. What? Ah, oh, the announcements are so cool. It's actually like the same voice that they used in uh, Theme Hospital too. I feel like we're gonna hire Alex for now. Oh. Hey, Alex, how you doing? It looks like he's kind of just hanging out. Oh yeah. General, a practitioner's office. Great. Before we officially open, we need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Well, let's build that GP's office. Uh, to build a room, click on the rooms button and pick one from the list. Uh, bloody blah. We can figure this out, right? How hard can it be? GP's office. Look at that. They even give you a nice little video order to show you. Boom, boom. I'm going to go out to here. Yeah, that'll be good. GP's office. Uh, doc. Put the doc uh, facing there. 
Give him a filing cabinet. There we go. You can add items to the room here, as you can see. Uh, this currency here is called Kudash, uh, which you gain uh, by completing different tasks and whatnot, where you can buy these extra things. Uh, let's give this room a plant. Plants actually give uh, some sort of room atmospheric thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, do we need a bed? I don't think we need a bed here. You are good. Think to have some work. Radio is actually really cool, too. Until the uh, radio. The videos You're don't listening get to Harrison Wolf, for that. the lone but voice of reason. The one thing I don't like truth about all our the vigilant listeners. Open your eyes. Shut up, ears, radio dude. I'm talking. Get ready to find out what's but really going on. During the whole build process, first, the big thing you have to do is always hit this check mark. And it drives me nuts. Cause it's like you're building here, and then you gotta go up to here. So I don't, I don't like that. If they can uh, figure something else out there. Oh, Doctor Whom, excellent. Now we'll need a doctor around the GPU's office. Yes, so we do. God, I'm like super excited for this game. Now Love taking it. applications for a new PA announcer. Ooh, PA yeah, announcer. Yeah, no. That'd be really cool if we could have like, uh, like Seth Rogen or another like person that could do like. That'd be really cool. Oh, well, well, mod support. We need mod support for the PA announcement. That'd be really cool. But doctors, we got Victoria Bobble and Hannah Biggles. Uh, Victoria has diagnostics, motivation, and treatment. Uh, Hannah Biggles has diagnostics and stamina. So let's go with let's go with Victoria. I mean, she gives us more. I'm I love the motivation, and uh, what we can always do for better. Their treatment. You know the one thing too. So they get this uh, hospitals open. Good news. Our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive after they start reception. They'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. So, oh no, doctor. Is zooming in and rotating. See, this is, and they like make so they talk about you know the camera controls, but then they have you do them after. Now we got a pitch. There we go. Let's say I remember pitch. Um, but yeah. to the roof, please. These tips Dog constantly to the, to the rough. Why are we going to the rough? Where's the rough at? So this is our hospital in Hogsport. Uh, there's no emergency uh, helipad, um, but in Hogsport, uh, spoiler alert, they uh, come out of vehicles. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. Look at you guys. You gotta get you guys a uh, some chairs. Benches. We'll get a bench in here. Is there something? Well, that's a patient. A patient in there. Uh, get a leaf. Oh, we've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Everybody, look at the message list in the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Build that as well. All right, our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Like, oh, your times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Ooh. Patient is seeking treatment. We'll need a pharmacy in order to treat them. About 7,600 to build. The patient to wait, yes. So you can see that little timer of their head. That is how long they are willing to wait on you. So, uh, yeah. Way. Don't I've take too long. exploring past lives. Um, I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches, mm. but I find listening to my own voice works best. I say one thing and then another thing. Uh, that's a and big I room. Say one thing and then another thing. I don't like that size of that room. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. I am so hypnotized. It looks like it has to be that big though. Wow. It's a shame. I just don't like how big it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, stop editing. I want to put it over here, maybe. Um, all right, I guess it's gonna have to just go here. I don't like it here, but what else are we gonna do with it? Let's put it in. There's the machine. Uh, let's give a fire extinguisher in here, and let's put a pin. Ready, waste. Get off those feet. 
Yes, we shall take a seat. Get off those feet. Alright, let's put a bench in here. A couple benches. We can get a couple in here. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. It's going to block. Yeah. What a shame. Oh, well. Oh, we got to hire a nurse. We got Angela Pullover and Lydia Goose. Uh, treatment's up. Pharmacy. pharmacy management is better, though, so we'll do with, uh... She's got a weak bladder. She's nasty. She's a litter and a compulsive fryer. Tries easily, positive, and was raised on a farm. Lydia, you're it. But yeah, so when you hire them, they get like this bonus, which is uh, interesting. They hire you most. Let's see Look at that. That's really cool. I like the animations. Like, you see their hands move when they open doors. Like, how everything just like, it's just so cool. This is, uh, what do you get a treat in here? has you have grout. I don't see the grout. Where is the grout? Oh, I just feel better, I guess. Interesting. Uh, patient cure build done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Illnesses are tougher than others. Continuing diagnosis and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Stop announcement! We just cured our very first patient. You've got it, that's awesome. Look at that. Like look they like the way they talk to each other. Like this stuff is just so cool. This guy, like you can see him spinning that with a little bit of a glitch there, but now that we've gotten gotten some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered um, uh, bad for business. Uh, hire a janitor to maintain machines. While you're at it, make sure you've got some fire extinguishers nearby. They're safe and sorry. Better believe it. Uh, hey dude, leave me alone. So we got out here a janitor. Amelia Casserole, Herbert Lentils, and Rodney Carpet. So Rodney is good at maintenance. He's got some motivation. He's really good at maintenance. <laughs> like really, really good at. Maintenance. Uh, Amelia is emotional, and uh, she can capture ghosts though, which is huge. Uh, because if your patients die, they become some of them can become ghosts, and they come back to haunt the hospital. And then you need someone to uh, take care of that. But Rodney has potential. He's inspiring. He's nasty. The former TV chef, so uh, hey, thinks their life is a rom com. She's nasty and she believes in marzipan is toxic. I'm not sure who marzipan is. I'm gonna go with Rodney here, but you can see the recruitment fee that we gotta pay for them. There's some call it the below repair machine when its maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request a Jan to repair it immediately through the items option. So we can. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, and drinks, a comfy seat, and they're between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Well, that's not good for business. All right, so we've got Looks a couple like of things. The healthcare branch of the holistics company, known to some as yes. Hemp, is so, in trouble again. We've got a new illness. Apparently, a elixir. Discovered our directives have discovered a new illness clamp. Cure Once the scripts a patient that doesn't let go, flicks many life, living statues and selfie taking chumps. Well, I guess it should cure one. Apparently, we can get through it in uh, pharmacy. As the reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. That's just item controls, so nothing there. Focus on. We gotta place a drinks machine and a snacks machine. Um. Okay. We could just place them over here. I wanna. If we gotta build more rooms, I wanna build out here. Morning. So. Morning. This is a general warning. All right. There's a drinks machine and there is a snacks machine. And then we can pick up items. That's cool too. We can start items. Look at this. Like you push the button, 
comes out, like, animations are just awesome. And that's our staff member getting that. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. Using a high prestige room will become happier. A staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. So we need to build a staff room. So I, I think in the back is probably like the better places to build one. Uh, and it just keeps it out of the way. But I want to build a ward over here. Eventually, so. Let's see if we could build a staff room this way. No, I don't want to do that. I lied. Room, staff room. So if this goes all the way through here, we can build a small one over here. Rotate the couch. Let's get a uh, armchair in here for whatever reason. Get okay, a drinks machine, a snacks machine, a bin. And let's get like, a plant in there as well. Good to go. Now we got a staff room. It can be uh, any size. Do like, uh, you know, as we continue to expand and get more staff you you know you want to make your staff rooms probably a little bit bigger but staff will I do a staff room when they're on break fill the room with interesting items to help keep them fully refreshed uh, you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break or in a workroom to make them work there so that's cool you do that in theme hospital too like so many of the things that were in theme hospital are definitely in two point here but same developers so I'd say the same developers but a lot of the same Drinks and snacks are great for keeping working keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. Oh, well, right, it's staff and patients will get grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Uh, janitors help maintain all of these, restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, and emptying bins and unblocking toilets. So, well, let's do the toilets uh, and see what we can do. Doctor, you've won. There we Please go. Come out. So, this is, uh, interesting. So, there's it's a unisex bathroom, basically. Which is, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. So, we got, we got some sinks. Ooh. I can't go there. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we got a hand dryer, though. That can't go there either. We can go there though. And we got a bin. So, that'll be good. Big bathroom. Which actually looks really neat. I actually like the design. Really cool. So we got that. Can't wait to see people use everything. Further diagnosis, we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. You may need to build a new diagnosis form. If GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Look at that. Whack that thing. Gotta fix the drug mixer. This is the new pharmacy. If you guys remember in uh, Theme Hospital. Whoops. Got a hospital level here. I'm gonna finish my story though about Theme Hospital. Stop that. But in Theme Hospital, you had a cabinet tree. And they would just open up the cabinet. Cup pour, pour something into a drink. And then they'd hit that away. Now we get like a mixer. So that's really cool. Hospital level, as you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP's offices and other rooms. There are more staff to deal with that extra patients. Look out for your queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over your room to highlight people queuing for that room. Um, which is cool. Again to see. As we highlight over, you can see who's in line. Do their thing. I'm trying to see what this... So this guy has clamp. Let's see, we've hovered over him. Do we need to see... You know, I like to remember... Uh, in Theme Hospital, they had invisibility. And so the person was invisible. And after the drink, they would like, come back. I'd like to see some changes occur with these patients. I get paid to announce. Not to hear you complain. That is right, you do. 
So let's see if anything really happens here. Doctor required a yeah, you see, I, you just don't see anything there, and so that's a little... There's so many different people, though, which is so cool. Um, we need a doctor. Doctor, where are you going, doctor? You're not tired, you're on a break. She's got to use the bathroom. Oh, she has some trash. You should probably, uh... Get some items here. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's get another radio. bench here. I went to the Cirque de Parfait recently. Mm -hmm. I was impressed by how experimental the been acts there. were. Until I realized it was facing the wrong oh, let's way. Let's put a plant there. You see how it kind of greens wall. up the area around it? So... It's really cool. Uh, we've cured two patients. We need to get the hospital to level three. We're at level two right now. That is so cool. Come on. So once we uh, once we get to level three for the hospital level, we'll unlock the board. Which doing that is really cool. But one thing I wish we could change is maybe like the floors. There's a uh, there's no way to change the floor. I can see. No. No, no way to change the floor. We can add a carpet though or a rug, but. Oh, and every time you edit, you know, to go to the edit list, it does that, which is not. Enter, I'm doing it wrong. It'll be one of the two. Uh. He's a junior nurse, or he's a junior. He needs to go on break. Maybe not. He just something to drink. How's she doing? She's doing great. Traits stupid. <laughs> that was funny. Come on. Where's our That's our custodian. Yeah. Kind of on a break. If you smell something suspicious, please fill out form 37B. Twenty dollars, I don't know what he Paid twenty dollars for, but hey. Oh, well, exhausted no, all forms of diagnosis on a patient, and we still don't know how to treat them. We'll need some more diagnosis, otherwise the patient will leave. What do we need? Air Doom has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms. We're only seventy-two percent sure of the diagnosis. We can ask them to wait until we have more diagnosis rooms, take a risk, and treat them anyway, or send them home. What would you like to do? I oh, don't know. What do we think? The I wish I would say what the what we think it is. Team Hospital used to tell us. Let's see if we can get the patient to wait. Um, but they're only going to wait for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, it looks like, so... Um... Yeah. General Diagnosis. Oh, let's build it. Yeah. That is nice. Put that over here. We got the bed. Um... Put a fire extinguisher in here just to be on the safe side. Uh, a plant, because you know, I gotta make everything look sprucey. And that'll do that, I think. Well, let's go. Build another bench around here. There we go. Newsflash, there's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. We may. We shall see, though. Increasing demand, we need to build a second GP's office. We need to hire two doctors and hire two nurses. So, first thing first, we'll hire a new nurse. And Bungle. Uh, he's got emotional intelligence. 14,000. We got Vera Pebble, who's got 10% uh, plus Nurse treatment and emotional intelligence. And Billy Wright, who's got nothing. He's got he's got openness. Uh, but hey, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think Vera, or should we go Dan? Uh, I like the treatment stuff. We'll go with Dan, though. It's a little bit cheaper. It's a little cheaper. He's cheese for brains, nausea-inducing, charming, and a handful. Today's sponsor is, is Rent and Eel. Rent an eel for let's, all let's of do your short-term eel-based needs. Welcome, Vera. 
Let's go. We need a ward. Um, let's see. We, we need another doctor. Jack Dross. Dowie Kitten or Dowie Spanner. What are these? General practice. Oh, that'd be really cool. Um, 34,000, eh? Um, let's, let's go with Ellie Spanner. I like Bedface. We've got Bedface. What is Bedface? Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Bedface. A quiet, alarming contortion of the face. A quite alarming contortion of the face. Caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. The patient is seeking treatment. We'll need a ward. Alright, let's build the ward finally. Um, we need to build the second GP's office, though, too. So, I'm gonna have to get that done. But I'm gonna build a big ward. Big, big ward. We could have actually expanded this out, I think. Oh, well. So, let's rotate. Hmm. How do I want to do that? Like that. Put that there. That's good. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's put a couple of lockers in here. Towards the end. Uh, the one thing I have noticed, though, is if you put, like, a other screen in here, it really doesn't do anything. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. Attention. Has anyone seen my pen? Mm, a couple of plants in here. Just sprucing things up. Got a weighing scale. Aircon unit, sweet dispenser. We get should we get a poster? We should get a poster in here. Drawings? Yeah, let's get some drawings. That'll help sprucing some stuff up. There we go. Words can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a board to deal with more than one patient at a time. Also adjust the number of nurses that should work in there. In the room setting. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. Oh, that's cool. Nurse wanted on the ward. We should, uh, yeah, we should focus on that. Um, God, man, this is so exciting. Hospital story in the two point health ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with Shader rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to require a one-star rating. There are three My patients says lightheadedness. More. Find a hobby. If you have any so, by completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. You, you can use this to unlock cars. items, Anything which we've just already done. Last so, collecting traffic cones. Maybe we, if we had a second nurse's station. And another nurse, we could put another screen. I haven't tried that, I wonder. So we know what Kudush is. Uh, our doctors have discovered a new illness, Bugworts. So we're in bug spot, and we've got Bugworts, a rather disgusting skin disease in condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs, typically prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Let's see. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, a Misery Guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a neohistilic semicolon. We'll send the patient for treatment in the pharmacy. So we got all that going on. We need to build another GP's office and a deluxe machine. So let's build the GP's office. This one will be a small one, but it'll, it'll do the job. It will do the job. Place that. And then we can build a de deluxe clinic. Which is super cool. And 
let's get a fire extinguisher in here. And then let's get a uh, bin. You know, we need a bin. Get the bin up front. Uh, and uh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some items in here. There we go. Let's get a drinks and snack machine, I think, right? There we go. What I could have did was kind of rounded out this room. That would have made probably a little bit more sense. Rounded this out. Made the door here. All right. Patients are asked to trust us with their lives. Those are the lightheadedness guys. Look at that. Those are so cool. Come on, where is this person going? The Deluxer Doctor. This is so cool. I can't wait to watch this. Ten dollars. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your ten dollars. This. Oop. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh yeah. Give me a new head. This guy's like, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Oop. Bam! $8,000! Thank you very much, sir. Look in great spirits. Yeah. Get the shimmy shake out of here. Well, let's see how this person does. Let's do steal. The 45th caller today will win tickets to the Rock Festival taking place next month. I admire a station manager's optimism. The most callers we've ever had in a day was... Six. Mm. Two of them were wrong numbers. Eight thousand dollars. Hello, ma'am. You look dazzling. You look a dazzling. God, I love this game. This is so much fun. It's so cartoony too, but cool. You know, and the movements for all the people work really well. The animations. I mean, there's just so much going on here. Whoa. Dude. She's gonna, she's gonna drop a deuce. Oh, we got some new mail coming in. Deaf promotion, Lydia Goose is ready for a promotion from junior nurse to nurse. Promotion from junior nurse to nurse will provide one training slot. 10% but the movements mean 10% diagnosis skill and 10% treatment skill. Why not? New illness discovered, our doctors have discovered a new illness, light headedness, light headed patients are notable due to their obelisk heads. We'll send the patients for treatment in our deluxe clinic. That's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I think a good way to put that is probably like, uh, Wody Head from Theme Hospital, where the head was super big and then they just kind of popped it like a balloon. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to treat one more patient here. We've been getting these patients through really well, so I'm happy about that. Like, super happy about that. The nurses are definitely different. They're, they're strutting around. They like got cool outfits. They're doing like they're doing stuff. No shenanigans, please. Just really neat. What was that? Did we get fish. Doctor required in deluxe clinic. Deluxe. Look at our staffs. Our staff members are talking to each other. End oh. of year approaching. We've got an awards and yearly review. What is this? Two Point County Healthcare Awards Ceremony. It's the Grammys. And first up, Doctor of the Year. Awarded to. Yes! We've got Doctor of the Year. Hello, thank you. Next up, Nurse of the Year is awarded to. Yes! We did it again! Look at that. Congratulations. Yeah. Next up, Janitor of the Year is awarded to... All of Sticks. Mm. Mm. Next up, Assistant of the Year goes to... 
Gumbo Megacorp. Like, seriously? Come on. Employer of the Year. Yes! Hotspot. Hotspot. Got it. Yeah, shake that money maker, dude. Shake that money maker. No das. Well, I mean, come on, that's an obvious one. Right? Obvious. Yes! Let's hog spot again. Yes, we did it. Woohoo! Yeah, cheer it on. Most prestigious hospital. Ooh. Is it us? Oh, it's the Oral Foundation. Oh, that's a shame. And finally, the Patient Choice Award goes to the Oral Foundation. Well, that's a shame, but four out of eight, uh, that's 50%. I will take that as a, as a win for the first time. It is definitely not the best you can do. Um, you for sure can get most prestigious in this first one. Uh, I'm not sure if you get a uh, Patient's Choice Award right away. Janitor of the Year and Assistant of the Year you probably could get as well. Um, you definitely just need to hire the Why top of the it? line. Whenever you clip your nails oh. in front of a computer, one of the nails of the line always employees. flies into the cracks of your uh -oh. keyboard. Does it's the got a heart. Feed on them? What's wrong, sir? Treatment no. failed. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. The treatment failed. Chance of success was 82% for bed face. That's not good. I feel very sorry for you, sir. What does this person have? You have bed face as well. 82% chance. Not really sure why the chance is so low. Uh oh. We hit our first death, guys. Uh, that is not good. Doctor, are you not very good at your job? Like, what is going on here? Um. Boy, oh boy, we're not hearing this bed face very good. And we just killed a whiteheadedness as well. What is going on? Oh boy. Oh boy, new email. Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they are waiting too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. Also a chance the patient will return to a haunt hospital. If this happens, you'll need a enter with a ghost capture qualifications. Yeah, that's... Uh... Oh boy. Uh, it's not good. Needed in Deluxe Clinic. Maintenance, maintenance to deluxe, please. So two deaths already, that's not good. 82%, like, why do you die at 82%? Don't understand it. Don't understand it. And oh man. Oh, she's doing some witchcraft in there. Gee, I caught you doing some witchcraft, lady. Pharmacy, calling nurse. Well, we just need to get this third, like, white-headedness person, but our, our reputation has taken a hit, so... I just don't know. Please, hey! There they are. Come on! You can speed up time. Or not to, though. Did you take a break? No? Nope. Kind of are on one. Oh, they switched out. That's good. I was going to say, they've had time to. We don't have a ton of patience here. Kind of expanded everything and then don't need I wish I would fix that clipping there. Five hundred dollars you have a hundred percent diagnosis of oh lightheadedness. Like we've got this one on lockdown. Illness difficulty is not very difficult, but our staff skill is not good. Did you know you can use the visualization tab to view the By hospital based on environmental factors, happiness, both energy and needs, free. and maintenance? And if you yes. sign up for our store card, I did. you'll get our exclusive one-time. Victoria Bubble is ready for a promotion from doctor to consultant. So come on down. To she gets ten percent of that. that yeah, and yeah. Let's promote her. Bills. Congratulations. Strike yourself. This is two point radio. Two point radio. Oh boy, our doc needs a break. He's on call. 
is his work. Yes, we've done it, dear hospital administrator. We've got a one-star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in hug sport. Further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as I say, is yours. Yours, Greg granted the Tarquin Foxbridge, the health officer. I think we're going to continue on this map. I want to get all three stars. That's the goal. All three stars at every hospital. But we've unlocked the Lower Bullocks and the white-headed boosters, so... That is it. To get the two-star hospital, we can see what we need to do now. But for now, that's going to do it for us. This, everybody, was Two Point Hospital, the introduction. I hope you enjoyed it. And come back for more Two Point Hospital. <laughs>